Welcome back again to the Sports Underground. Today I'm going to be talking about the feet and uh, how the feet affect the swing. It's uh, The feet actually affect the swing more than you think. One of the great things about the feet is that they provide a, a platform for you to push against the earth. If you can't push against the earth, you can't generate speed. So anytime you're feet lose contact with the ground, you're in a position to where you really can't in increase your speed through pushing, you can actually pull. So the reason this matters is, is what we want to do is we want our feet to make contact with the ground for as long as possible up until our, our swing is completed. A lot of people like to swing and really pull them hooks up and drag their feet forward. Well, when that happens, what you're doing is only pulling your bat through the zone. You're not actually hitting by pushing. Your pushing was completed here. Your hips are still traveling, and you're actually decelerating yourself with your foot. So what we want to do is we want to try, if we can, to hit the ball right at the point of maximum foot extension without having to drag our foot and having to pull our hips through that way we can actually pull and push at the same time with our feet. Now, the interesting thing about your feet is that they create limits. You notice that if I point my toe forward, I can actually move my knees about 45 degrees each direction. So actually if I were, say, pitching, I can actually rotate my knees so I'm pointing way over here. By closing the toe, I limit that motion, makes it impossible for me to throw in that direction. Now, I'm not saying to close your toe, but I just want you to know that by pointing your foot, the ability of your knees to work affects how far that, that your hips can turn. It affects how far your hands can turn. The same thing when you're batting, if I'm here and I keep a closed toe, it affects how far my hips can turn. A lot of people land on their heel, turn, and turn on their heel so that this foot opens up. And they have to do that or else their hips won't come through. So when we talk about batting, what we want to do is we want to set it up so that we allow ourselves the limits to swing at the pitches we need to hit. If I hit closed, and I can't get my hands and my hips through, that means that I can't hit the inside pitch. I can't get my body to do that, and a lot of good hitters hit an outside pitch or a middle, down the middle pitch really well, but because they are very close, they just can't get their hands out. So being close does affect you, but also being open. If you open up too early, your hips fly out, you're back here trying to hit an outside pitch and you lose that relationship to where you, you want to hit the ball here. You just have very little power back here. You want to hit the ball here. So what we want to do is we want it with our feet to set it up so that we have the confinement of limits but also we want to allow the limits that we need. Now some people when they hit will keep the foot closed and on an inside pitch, turn on the heel this way. Other people will actually open up their foot slightly. This allows that limit so that the knee will point straight ahead and I can actually get the barrel of the bat on an inside pitch. So, whether we open up this way here on our heel or whether we just turn and I rotate as we complete our stride, we have to allow those limits to hit that inside pitch. Now, some people guess on pitches, and if they think it's gonna be an outside fastball, they'll stay closed and try to hit it. If they think it's gonna be an inside pitch, they may actually open up. The interesting thing about a stride is, is you can't control a stride. You don't have time. So once the ball is in the air, if my foot is up here, I can't step to the ball. I can't step out a little bit because I don't have time to make that decision and to put my foot where it needs to be. 
But what I can do is I can control my foot. In other words, if my foot is almost down when the ball is in a position where I can read it, if my foot is down or almost down, I can control whether I stay closed or whether I open. So with the entire leg, with the stride, I can't control that, but I can control it a little bit with my foot. So good hitters, I think, do uh, put that into their repertoire. But the next thing I want you to see is, is that with a closed stance, if I turn my back foot and I turn it right here, my hip actually folds inward and my foot goes inward. With a closed stance, if the ball is in the inside, I can't really get my hands through here, so what I have to do is I have to drop my foot back. You see a lot of hitters in Major League Baseball doing this. A ball, they're too closed, they're very closed, they're swinging, and they actually actually have to move their foot in just to get their barrel of the bat on the ball. Well, that's okay. They're making adjustments. Batting is a dynamic art. But at the same time, any time you have to turn that foot inward or that foot collapses inward, you're going to lose power. And uh, whether it's a little bit or just depends on how much you do it. On the other hand, if my foot is slightly open like this, when I rotate my back foot, it actually rotates outward. So just by changing my foot by an inch, I get my hips to actually either fold or rotate out. Now which is best? Well it depends on how it's pitched. But at the same time I found that most successful hitters that provide a path for their hands so that they are just open just enough to allow that hip to open outwards, I can now get my hands even at a 45 degree angle to, to me. I can hit any inside pitch that I want to. I can hear, bam, right there. At the same time, I can still wait with the hips and hit the outside pitch out here. What I've done is I've created a path for my hip to open up instead of having to fold it. Now, notice that as my hip turns, and this rolls out here, it changes my hips, it changes where I can locate it with my hands, it changes whether I can hit the ball inside. So what I have to do is decide, do I want to hit with my foot closed or do I want to hit with my foot open? Well, it depends on the type of hitter you want to be. If you want to be a predominantly, you know, uh, going to the opposite field type hitter closed is okay. If you want to be able to pull the ball, it helps to be able to open up a little bit. Now, an inside high pitch, I can actually hit that with my hands. Here. See, I'm closed. I can hit a high fastball or a high curveball with my hands. I can get my hands through. What I can't do without opening up is I can't hit a middle fastball well with my hands closed. See, I can only come to here unless I hit down on the ball. If I hit down on the ball and I pull this part of my body, I can hit down on that inside pitch, which that's going to limit my power. So today, I want you to think about your feet. Is your foot folding in? rotating out. Are you hitting with happy feet where you're having to do this because you're too closed on certain pitches? You know, that could be, that could be a problem for you. Check back for our next lesson.